Welcome back to Delphi Labs. I'm going to put this video on YouTube and there is a limit of 15 minutes per one episode so that's why I had to uh, stop a moment ago uh, on at the moment where we have actually built a standalone uh, web broker Delphi application uh, serving some dynamic content. So our application uh, is uh, displaying uh, current date time uh, date and time from the server and also displaying uh, the default uh, content type uh, of HTTP response. Now our goal is to replace this dynamic content with a, a jQuery mobile boilerplate code. So what I could have done uh, here, I could actually uh, jump uh, into uh, my jQuery mobile page and just uh, replace the content uh, of jQuery a mobile uh, in the on on in the handler uh, event. I'm going to copy uh, this uh, this code because I'm going to uh, need it uh, in my Delphi code, and I'm not going to put uh, this um, HTML markup in this uh, in this event. Uh, I'm rather going to use a dedicated tpage producer component uh, for this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the implementation of this uh, of this event and remove it. Now I'm going to save this file so this is going to remove uh, the empty implementation of this event. So I'm going to uh, press on save and not notice that uh, the default handler is going to uh, disappear. Okay, so now I have uh, just an empty empty page. I'm going to move to my uh, default uh, layout and I'm going uh, on the page, I'm going to put a page producer component. So in the internet mm, there is quite a lot of uh, different uh, components uh, in the internet page and I'm going to add a page producer. So page producer is a, a component that is that can actually produce content. So let me uh, actually uh, move to a default handler. So note that default handler uh, has a producer or producer content uh, property. So this is a convenient place where I can actually um, co connect my page producer. So the content of the page producer uh, is going to be uh, served by this default handler. So page producer has an HTML file property. So this is where I can pointed to a, a static uh, HTML file, but it also has a HTML, it HTML doc property, uh, which is a strings property, and this is where I can actually uh, copy my uh, jQuery mobile boilerplate. So notice that uh, this boilerplate has uh, some uh, title, I'm going to actually replace this title with uh, web broker jQuery mobile boilerplate and I'm going to keep uh, the rest uh, as is. So if I click on OK and now uh, rerun my application uh, I should see uh, that this is my uh, jQuery mobile boilerplate served uh, by a Delphi web broker application. I'm going to do some uh, refactorings uh, to make this uh, even a better starting point for implementing uh, my data snap uh, client that is going to uh, serve uh, dynamic content. So first of all, in the uh, page producer provides an on HTML tag event. So this is a very useful event uh, where you can uh, provide some uh, dynamic content. So for uh, if you enter uh, into your uh, HTML markup, uh, so called. I can actually open this uh, contents of this string list editor in the editor itself, so that's much more uh, convenient. I can uh, replace uh, parts uh, of this uh, of this code with so-called uh, with so-called uh, transparent tags. So there are actually uh, two uh, places in this content that can be parameterized. So I'm going uh, to take this web broker jQuery mobile boilerplate, press Ctrl X to remove it and I'm going uh, to remove uh, this content with a, a transparent tag. 
the transparent tax has the uh, hash uh, sign and I'm going to call this tag doc title. So now if I go to my web module uh, main in the on produce producer uh, event I can actually start coding and say if the if it's the same text and I'm going to uh, specify the tag string so the tag string uh, can be my doc title so I'm going to also put this doc title here title then I'm going to uh, replace text so this is my parameter here so I'm going to so this is the uh, parameter passed bar by value and I can uh, replace it with my uh, with my title so let's uh, have a look is if this is uh, going to work so if it's a different thing I'm going to uh, just replace it with nothing so just to have a, a proper implementation let's have a look uh, if this is going to work so notice this is my uh, transparent tag so during the page producer when it encounters uh, such a transparent tag which is uh, denoted with the hash symbol uh, this, this will actually fire uh, on HTML tag event and I can use it to uh, replace it uh, with some dynamic content. So th that's the first uh, step is actually to replace it with a, just a different title. Let's rerun my application. Yes, I'm going to save it. Start it and open uh, the browser. Okay, so I see that this is still web broker jQuery mobile uh, boilerplate. So that's actually working. Let me sh close some of those guys. Okay, so I'm going to stop uh, the application now uh, and uh, let's re uh, let's replace the, the the main body of the uh, of the page with a transparent tag as well so this will be a uh, completely completely uh, dynamic so I'm going to copy this text here and instead of calling this doc title I'm going to call it dog body so I'm going to put a transparent tag called dog body dog body it's fine so that's my actual actually I can now uh, close this guy because it's now completely finished so I have two dynamic uh, parts so the doc title is going to be dynamically replaced and the whole body of the document uh, is going to be uh, uh, replaced as well so I'm going to close this guy and now I'm going to add some more uh, code so if the tag is a dog body like this then I'm going to uh, replace it with this with this text so let me actually I need to add some some code here so I'm going to do it like this for every line that I have some source code like this okay and it has to be finished with an apostrophe as well so I'm going to do it like this like this like this and like this so now uh, this should work fine but then and we are missing one else statement here okay so now we have a fully uh, dynamic uh, jQuery uh, mobile uh, template so still uh, we have just refactored uh, this code and it still displays the same uh, jQuery mobile boilerplate. Okay, um, what I'm going to do is I know that the implementation of my mm, body or the contents of my dog body is going to be much more complex than uh, this static boilerplate. So I don't want to keep this inside the same web module main. I would like to actually uh, move it to a, a different data module with its sole purpose will be uh, to uh, provide a, a dynamic content uh, that I'm going to use on my web page. So instead of uh, replacing this text uh, with a static uh, string I'm going to add to my application a data module. I'm going to add a, a data module so I have a Delphi files and in Delphi files I'm going to look for a 
data module. So this is going to be my data module. Uh, I'm going to call it uh, data module uh, HTML uh, unit. So this is going to be my data module HTML. Okay, click on save. And also, I need to make sure that this is called data module HTML. Okay. Also, what I don't want is I don't want to create this data module automatically. So I need to go to the project options, and inside the project options, inside the forms, I'm going to move this data module from the auto created forms to available forms so it's not uh, created uh, for me automatically. I want to create it uh, on the fly. Okay. So in the web module, uh, in this unit, I'm going to use my new uh, data module HTML unit, okay, and I'm going to uh, dynamically uh, create an instance of this module. So I'm not going to to really need this variable. So I like to have it uh, commented out. So I'm going to take the, this name and define in the in the var section, so I have a local variable called data module that is of my uh, type data module, and I'm going to uh, to just instantiate an instance of such a module at the beginning of my uh, of my uh, of my event handler, and I'm going to provide one big try finally block just to make sure that this uh, dm free that this data module is properly uh, freed. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to implement on this uh, data module uh, two methods. So this is going to be two methods. So um, there's going to be one uh, method called uh, get title that will return a string and the second will be get body also returning a string. So Control Shift C for class completion, and for the title we want to actually I like to have it in the opposite order, so I'm going to put it like this. So I'm going to remove it. This get title uh, result uh, equals and web module main. This is my title. I'm going to put this here, and instead of so here I need to do a dm dot dot get dot get title has not yet been uh, compiled so it does not uh, see it I can actually try to uh, to do it like this and I don't need this guy and here I'm going to take the whole content of my boilerplate code and um, replace it with get body Okay, so that's much more manageable. I'm going to do it a nice indentation as, as well, Control K I, and here I'm going to provide a result equals and my boilerplate. So now in the next part of this uh, tutorial, I'm going to uh, provide uh, dynamic content using uh, jQuery mobile uh, with data coming from uh, Interbase a database served by my uh, DataSnap server application so I can build a scalable uh, database system. Okay, let's run this application uh, to see that it's still uh, working as it used to work. So now we have been doing some uh, refactoring, so now we are ready uh, to build a DataSnap server and uh, provide a dynamic content uh, here. Thank you very much.